Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's myself, Paul Neal, and I'm here to talk about Evan Ferguson. He's just coming up to his final Premier League game of the season. He's got 11 goals and 3 assists in all competitions. But let's talk about him. You know, we've been talking about our Irish players wanting to do well in the Premier League for so long now. And we have a fellow who's come along and at every opportunity when you think, OK, he has to step up here. He has to make sure he doesn't crumble. And every opportunity he has came in and he's not looked phased whatsoever. People are coming out talking about him constantly. Because Irish fans were notoriously told that we can't talk about our good players. That we hyped them up too much. And that we're in danger of them, I suppose, flopping. It's been seen in the past, maybe a little bit, with Troy Parrott, maybe Adam Ida, Aaron Connolly, a little bit. But they're still their careers are still in flow. But I think... The fact that Evan Ferguson is 18 years of age, the fact that he has played 17 Premier League appearances, albeit a lot of them have been as subs, and he only really came in onto the scene on the, in the Premier League from New Year's Day against Arsenal. And to have six Premier League goals and two assists in that time, and he's only been in the start in 11, 25% of the time, playing 25% of the minutes, and having a goal participation of 11%. He's the most... Goals by a teenager as well in the Premier League with six goals. And he's just signed a new long-term contract with Brighton because all of the top teams are looking at him as a potential striker for the future for the bigger clubs. So the fact of the matter is, is that he's going to stay with Brighton, which is good news, I suppose, for his development. But it also means he'll get paid a higher wage at Brighton and at the same time that if he does go, he'll, he'll probably double his wages again. That's brilliant for him. But in terms of development... Ireland need him to stay at Brighton now and I think the sky is the limit for this kid he's, as I said he's 18 years of age he looks like he's about 25 in terms of his body physicality his maturity and also just his movement and the way he plays his goals he scores all types of goals a proper centre forward I think someone in the media likened him I think it was Tim Sherwood likened him to Alan Shearer that's how highly rated this kid is John O'Shea has come out and said that he is likely to break Robbie Keane's record or come close to it at the very least, which is huge praise from someone like John O'Shea, who's been in and around the game with some of the world's best ever players, including Cristiano Ronaldo. So the fact that he's talking about him in that breath and he's played with Robbie just goes to show how how much potential this guy has. And like I really don't think he's even gotten into third gear at this stage i think there's a lot more still to come from evan um in terms of internationally i'm really looking forward to how he starts i suppose being the main man for ireland going forward being the main center forward being the main focal point because we've lacked that in in recent years we lack someone who the opposition has been scared of i mean you can really look at our irish team over the last three four years and you can rarely pick out one player and you say he's definitely starting but i think you'd have to say that about ferguson now I think other than Seamus Coleman, there hasn't really been that player who's been regularly playing uh, in Premier League football for a long time now. So I think, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Evan Ferguson. I think he is the real deal. I think there's a lot more still to come from this young man. And as I said, 11 goals and three assists um, in all competitions since basically the turn of January. His first international goal against Latvia, again, didn't look phased. Didn't look phased against France. He helped... Brighton beat Liverpool along the way, didn't play in the semi-final of the FA Cup. And maybe if he did, maybe they would have won the game. You never know. But he has looked frightened. He came on against Everton recently in a game and he really frightened Everton. And if it wasn't for Pickford, he might have had two goals as well. He is devastating. And it's really exciting to have a player who strikes fear into the opposition. Look, he's not at Haaland level now like everybody seems to think he is. But I think there's potential for him to get near him. Maybe not to that level, but... I think near to Haaland at the moment would be absolutely unbelievable for, for Ireland fans. Um, and, you know, what's wrong with being excited with a young, good, talented player coming through the ranks? And one of our own, he's a homegrown Irish player, despite what idiots on the internet want to say about him playing for England. He's a homegrown Irish player, and we don't have enough of them. But that's just my take on Evan Ferguson. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments don't forget to subscribe as well don't forget to check out our other content and i will have more stuff as we come into the summer now with all the rumors content news and so on thanks very much for watching and i'll speak to you all soon